Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Division. I am Death from Above. Today, I want to run you through the Casuals Gun Guide. These are the guns that I think about and I use and kind of what I look for in a gun and what guns I like to use and where and what mods and what I look for to mod on my weapons. Now, this is not an all-encompassing. These are kind of guns that I like and it's a Casuals Guide because I am a super casual uh, Division player and game player in general, so... We're just going to talk about some guns that I enjoy, guns that I think are effective, and guns that maybe might help you along, or maybe just give you a different perspective. We're going to talk a look at, take a look at my inventory, talk about what I'm liking to use. So right now I'm running an Alpha Bridge setup just because I wanted to get that gear set up first. Uh, it's the gear setup I've been chasing the longest, so I am running Alpha Bridge, so all my weapons should have six talents on them, which is very, very nice, especially for marksman rifles. I like running that. Um, other than that, I'm I'm looking for uh, the defense gear set. I want to get a, a dead eye gear set and some of these other gear sets. I've got a bunch of gear pieces just from farming the world, doing normal missions, running dark zone. Dark zone's actually pretty fun. I mean, don't doubt it. As long as you know what you're doing, you'll be all right. But anyway, we're not here to talk about the dark zone. We're here to talk about guns, man. Let's talk about guns, man. So, uh, sidearm. We're gonna start with sidearm just because I don't use it too much, and it's a uh, a weapon that I don't think you should waste too much time on. Find something you think's fun or cool and just use it. Um, I like the Snubnose Rhino just because it's new. Uh, I haven't really had too much use from it just because it is new and I don't use my sidearm too much, but it's just fun having something interesting. The Snubnose Rhino is definitely a, an up-close gun. You definitely want to be hitting them way, like just immediately in the head or the chest right when they get up on you. So. It does a lot of damage pretty quick, but it's nothing nothing special, nothing to write home to. Uh, if you want to use a Rhino, there is, I think it's the Rhino Special, you can actually put an Optic mod on, which is good. The Snub Nose, you can't do nothing to. I just think it's fun and cool. But other than that, like, 93R is cool. It's a burst fire. If you want something interesting to, uh, to play around with, I like this. But other than that, just the regular p pistols. The X45 is good, I think, and the... Uh, any any sidearm with the with the talents you enjoy is worth using. So just go for it. Don't don't spend too much time on your sidearm unless you run a double barrel shotgun and shield or something like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, so uh, first off, let's talk talk marksman rifles. Uh, a couple different marksman rifles I like to use. I haven't used an M1A in quite some time. Uh, I actually really enjoy the Tenabre. I don't have I don't have a 256 Tenabre. I got a 229 like one day before 1.5 dropped. But it's got some really cool talents if you're good at hitting headshots. Uh, so you can get headshot kills with this gun, and it's a lot of fun. I really like using marksman rifles right now. Get a, get a good bit of firearms. Keep your toughness right around 400K and just push everything into firearms. And uh, use an Alpha Bridge, and you can get a lot of headshot damage, especially if you have Brutal on something. Uh, toxic is fun. All these talents are really kind of fun to mix and match with the Alpha Bridge setup, but I like the Tenabre, but right now I'm running a uh, M44 and an MK17. I like to have, since they are both marksman rifles, but they perform dramatically differently, the M44 is a slow, precision weapon. You want to take your time with this one, make sure you're getting the headshot and getting that damage. So if you pair that with a pulse and a heal and get that headshot, you should get massive amounts of damage, especially if you can get a crit to happen. Uh, I like to stack a lot of headshot damage on my mods for these guns. So uh, this one, the M44, the the mods, the optic mod, and the uh, muzzle have headshot damage modifier along with critical hit and critical hit chance. So uh, that's just the way I like to modify that gun. Most headshot damage I get. The MK17, I mod a little bit differently because it's a really high rate of fire. I go for headshot damage uh, too, but I want, I want some stability on this sucker. I need a good bit of stability on this for it to be... Uh, a, fi a faster fire rate sniper rifle because it, it does bloom a little bit, but you want to be able to pop off shots really quick. If you start going real wild with it, it gets a little bit wide, so I like to keep it at a pretty steady rate, steady pace. So I have a lot of fun balancing out with an Alpha Bridge setup, two marksman rifles, one fast firing, one slow firing, and uh, just, just going between uh, body shot DPS and headshot damage. So that's what I'm running on marksman rifles. It's a lot of fun. I'm actually really enjoying the marksman rifles, more so than I thought I would. Would I actually took them into the dark zone yesterday and saved Luna Wolf a couple times. Uh, shotguns! I think the sausage is still the best shotgun. Uh, ferocious, responsive, meticulous. Something with destructive would be really good on a shotgun to get that enemy armor damage. Uh, they are shotguns. They do, they do shotgun things. 
This one has a really good fire rate. And uh, the, the, the SASG, they call it a sausage. Uh, it's one of the best shotguns in the game right now. And I'm really, I haven't used it too much, but that's my go-to shotgun if I'm going to run a shotgun. I'll just run two of those for an Alpha Bridge shotgun or uh, just a completely different build if you want to run shotguns or something and a shotgun. Uh, this one's good. The M870's gotten some nerfs recently, so don't worry too much about that. But for shotguns, as far as modding them goes, um, I would just go for damage. Uh, maybe some more range and accuracy. I'm not real sure on shotgun modifications. I haven't delved too deeply into that, so don't take my word on that. But the SASG is a good shotgun. Uh, as far as assault rifles go... Uh, I really like the Lova C. The Lova C is my number one assault rifle right now. I've tried the Famous, and it's not too stable. The Lova C has pretty good base stability, or the LOVA, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you can get a good burst out of it. It's got a pretty good size mag. Throw a little bit more stability on this gun. If you want to run an Alpha Bridge with a Famous, you can. I don't like the Famous uh, talent that comes on the Famous with the... Uh, uh, you can't have stability on the gun. I would actually roll that off of it. So if we look at the FAMAS, famous, whatever you want to call it, it's called uncomplicated damage is, is increased by 15% accuracy and stability might reduce this bonus. That's okay. Uh, but for me, the, the FAMAS does not have enough stability. I, and I just can't control it as well. It kind of it kind of rocks and rolls a little bit. I'm trying to control it, but it's just not. It doesn't. It doesn't play how I want it to. So I kind of wanted. Uh, maybe I may be doing it wrong. It's new gun. It's only been out for about a week, so not a big fan of it. But I like the Lova C. It's a very solid gun. Mod this for uh, just damage. Go for uh, critical hit chance and critical hit damage. Uh, go for deadly's good. Brutal's good. Destructive is good. Uh, anything that increases your damage uh, is nice. I don't like adept but that's okay. SMGs. I don't use a lot of SMGs, uh, but this is a good SMG, destructive, deadly, and dominant. Dominant, you would roll away, uh, but tactical aug, I still like it. It's a good SMG. It's not the best. I know the MP, uh, MP7's MP good, and the, uh, what else? There's another new SMG that's out. I don't really like SMGs. They're good for straight-up burst fire, uh, the Vector is okay. It's not as good as it once was. I remember when the Vector was absolutely massively dominant. Uh, I like the AUG. So if you're wanting to run an up-close gun, the SMG is definitely a way to get some burst damage up close, take enemies out one by one, then reload. So I would put reload speed on an SMG. Just focus on that. Uh, but that's just my opinion. I'm a, I'm a casual, super casual. Uh, and then LMGs. I have been running a good bit of LMGs, and I can tell you the best LMG for the money right now is the M60. I think the special weapons vendor has a pretty good M60 for sale. An M60 with an Alpha Bridge setup with something like Meticulous and uh, a good amount of, uh, of an extended mag will run a lot, a lot of bullets. You can see I'm just uh, straight up stock, stock stank right now on this gun and I can hit that far target pretty steadily with just a little bit of stick control. So this is an extremely effective uh, group weapon, suppression weapon. Uh, and I like it. I like it in the daily missions. I like it in, in the PvE world. PvP in the dark zone against players is no good. Against enemies in the dark zone is pretty good, especially as a support role. Uh, M60 is your number one go-to there. If you have the money, pick up the pecan. The pecan is very good. It's a named weapon that the special weapons vendor uh, or the advanced weapons vendor up in the base has. It's an extremely good gun. Give some. Give it an extended mag. And pair it with an Alpha Bridge gear setup and an M60, and you will be uh, very, very happy with the performance of this gun and the M60. So, it has good talents straight out of the gate. I like to modify for just more damage or a little bit more range out of a uh, an LMG. Uh, nothing crazy. Kind of just use it how you want to use it. Uh, mod it how you want to mod it. So. And get a little bit more range, a little bit more critical hit damage and chance out of it. Don't worry about headshot damage. You're not going to be... I mean, you can hit the head sh headshots pretty easy with the uh, the LMGs. Uh, I just like throwing bullets, so I don't worry about headshot damage. I'd rather go for critical hit chance and critical hit damage. And uh, that's kind of how I mod that. So that is the casuals guide. We hit some uh, We hit some sidearms. We hit some machine guns. We hit the assault rifles. We hit the uh, shotguns. We hit the submachine guns, marksman rifles. So... Uh, that's kind of what I'm running with right now, what I'm enjoying and what I've been using. As I get more guns, I will let you know how things change. But right now, I'm really enjoying my Alpha Bridge Marksman Rifle setup. It's it's very nice. I like being able to take things slowly, hit things from a distance, and just have fun doing that. That's what I've been doing 
uh, farm in the open world. It was effective in the DZ. It's effective on missions. Uh, Alpha Bridge is a great setup for any any gun type, really. So get you an Alpha Bridge setup and just go to town making things bleed. But anyway, guys, what do you think? What's your favorite gun in the division right now? How are you playing it? Uh, and uh, let me know in the comments. So I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. And uh, share the video if you'll help the channel and the video grow. It does help, and I really do appreciate it. But until then, I am Death or Above, and I will see you later. See you back.